morning, good morning, good morning. Stocks go up, stocks go down. Sorry about that. I had to reboot the whole computer and and then it wouldn't connect. And Jesus, okay. Uh, it took a few minutes. So he, he, here we are, here we are. It's Fed Day. And what happens today? The Fed. What happens today? Uh, okay, hold on. Sorry about that. Uh, you can hear me, right? You can hear me view messages. Okay, there we go. Okay, so what happens today? So is 75 factored in? Everybody says 75 is factored in, okay? They also say that 50 is not. If he does 50, it's not factored in and we have a massive rally. If he does 1%, I don't think that's factored in. I think you're down 250 points. But here's the thing. So they, they, if, if 75 is factored in, and then uh, everybody says 50 next time, this is December. So what if he does one and says we're not going to do a December? So that's less than 1.25 if he had 75 and 0.5. Is that a positive? I don't think so. If he does one, I think the market's in trouble. If he does 75, I don't think he's going to take 75 off the table, but that would make five 75s. Unheard of. Okay? Now, things that people are talking about, they're talking about if he keeps raising, the interest that we're paying, the U.S. government is paying, becomes too huge, more than that they're bringing in and blah, blah, blah. But, you know, you know my views on that. They just print money and they don't tell people. I mean, then that's it. They just pay. You know, it's whatever. It's just all fake. Okay? Uh, but this is interesting. So, would he do 50? I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, and does the market go up? Well, you seen yesterday... Something really, really, really bad. Okay? What you're seeing is Amazon broke back under 100. Google almost at 90. Microsoft right back near the lows. And all the fangs going to shit. Okay? Oracle yesterday laid off 200 people in the cloud division. Cloud division. There's massive layoffs and stuff coming. But, but worse than that, they're laying off the people that make a lot of money. Because, so this phenomena happened in 2001, and I don't think people will ever talk about this, but I will, because Sam is Sam, okay? When the World Trade Center got hit, Wall Street laid off all kinds of people because there was no, there was no, no amount of work that they could do, right? So they laid them all off. But they pulled reports and said, this guy makes $2 million, this guy makes $1 million, this guy makes 800000 whack them all. They whacked every rich person, expensive person. And then I read some articles, then I read some articles that, that, don't know what that is, okay. Uh, so, so I read some articles that said, Jesus, what is this, all this stuff coming through? Okay. Uh, so I read some articles that said these guys were all offered jobs at like 250000 and 300000 and they didn't take them at other companies. They didn't take them because they were making 800000 900000 a million, $1.4 million. And those guys never took another job again. Six, seven, eight years. They all thought they were worth a million dollars or eight hundred thousand dollars. So now you you move forward to today, and you have coders and these people at Google and Apple everywhere. Oh, I make three hundred and fifty thousand, and I get stock. And then those jobs go away. So now they can go get a job, and they're only going to going to make a hundred and fifty. So they don't take it. And they don't take it, and they don't take it, and they don't take it. 
And that phenomenon that happened back then in 2001 is going to happen again. Because people went crazy, they went nuts, and they think they're worth more than they're worth, and they're not. They're not. And you, you know my take on, on, on most people, they're inherently lazy. I mean, think about this. I mean, I, I, and even in the service, I have people that wake up and they get there at 9 o'clock and they're like, so what happened today? It's 9 o'clock, the market's open 30 minutes. Inherently lazy. Can't be inherently lazy at what you do, right? So one other thing for you guys that have jobs, and this is very important, uh, and this is very simple. This is, this is ridiculously simple. If you have a job and you do your job and you never create waves, most companies don't even know who the hell you are. Yeah, your boss knows. And these, but nobody, they don't even know who you are. Because I know a TI. I mean, you, you, you run a group, let's say you have 50 people, and, and you have about six or seven or eight or ten people that they just do their job, and you never even, they don't bitch about their, anything. They never say anything. They don't bitch about anything, and they're fine. So when you have layoffs, like at Twitter or at, at, at Oracle, they're looking at who are the troublemakers or who's giving me shit. And, and those are the people that lose their jobs. So, so if you never want to lose your job, you just want your job and you're happy, blah, 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 you never say anything, and you're good. You're always good. You're always good. Because there's always somebody else that, that does stuff. Now, if you want to move up in the world, you got to go make waves. Go, go, go make waves and walk into the CEO's desk and give him shit. Yeah, it's okay. It may, it may end up well for you. It may not, right? But... You're, you're the people that create waves. And that's what's happening now. And all these places are laying people off, and it's going to get worse. Okay, so just know that. So is Powell going to stop that temporarily? I don't know. I don't know. Okay? One other thing on meta. Meta and really, really bad and stupid reporting. And I said it right away. People interview people, and then they post stuff that's such bullshit. I knew within a second. I, first, I wasn't sure, but then I knew. Then I knew. Because it's just logical. The uh, FCC commissioner says they should ban TikTok. Who gives a shit? Who gives a shit? We got senators. We, we got presidents come out and say that a company should do this, X, Y, and Z. Biden comes out and says, you know, oil companies should lower prices. Well, he can't do shit. He can't do shit. Too bad. The FCC guy on TikTok, he can't do shit. He's a nobody. He's a complete pissant garbage guy. He can't do anything. They didn't even write a report and say we're submitting this to Congress. And that, or Sevier, or whoever, who, whoever makes a decision. And then that takes three months to 12 months to do. He's a nobody. So when nobodies make statements, don't get stupid and buy that shit. Just short the hell out of it. Because it went, went up $5 and people like, oh my God, this is a great trade. I'm buying call. You're going to go buy 100 or 110? It's right back to 93. It's nothing. Learn to understand news. First of all, if somebody's talking and they can't do anything about it, that's just bullshit. That means they're just rambling and they're pissed off or something like that. And then that guy's going to be gone. He's going to lose his job next because he's a nobody. Okay? Okay, so understand this. Understand this, understand this, understand this. Okay, so that's what I know, that's what I know, that's what I know. Uh, interesting, interesting, interesting. It's all about Paul. Uh, the last few times he's talked, it goes down and then it goes right up. Does it happen today? I don't know. 
But I'm getting this feeling. I was of the feeling that the market wanted to rally. But now I'm getting the feeling of of nothing is better. They're just going to talk the shit out of it down. And they want to crumble it. We'll see what happens. But that's what I think. I just think. I mean, Tesla was a prime example of complete garbage. You know, think about it. Elon took 50 engineers and said, oh, I got 50 great employees. And I, and I have this company that's a trillion-dollar company, but let's stop working on that. We're going to go work on one. Go, let's go move them over to Twitter. We're going to go do things. And we're going to charge eight bucks for a check mark. And he's going to charge eight bucks for a check mark. And his Tesla stock going to go down 10 points. And he's going to lose... Ten billion dollars or twenty billion dollars, trying to make twenty or thirty million. You can't make this stuff up. Can't make this stuff up. Okay, so that's why I know. Okay, uh, eleven. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Eleven two. Eleven two. All about Paul. All about Paul. SPX thirty nine hundred, thirty nine oh nine, thirty nine fifty two. Downside thirty eight, thirty two, thirty eight hundred, thirty seven fifty two, thirty seven hundred. Okay, if he does one percent, you're at thirty-seven hundred. If he does seventy-five, seventy-five, and he says there's no end rate, we can go straight down. Okay, CMG fourteen sixty-one, fifteen fifty-two, Avago four seventy-two, four sixty-one, Nvidia up a little bit, one forty-one, one thirty-two, Apple one fifty-two, one fifty-six, underneath one forty-one. Lamb Research 421, 391. Caterpillar 222, 216. Deer 406, 391. So it's already lower than 391. So right there. MDB 172. Snowman couldn't go either. 168, underneath 151. Meta 93. Regeneron. 779 earnings tomorrow. Netflix, if Netflix goes down to 281, keep an eye on the 290s. Very interesting. Very interesting. Get them at two bucks, pop back to 300, two to 10. NOW, 427, 432. Tesla, 233, 236. Moderna, 156, 131. Amazon ninety one eighty two, Google eighty nine eighty six, Microsoft one twenty four one twenty one, Enphase three oh six, and that's what we know. That's what we know. Okay, let me go to comments, questions. Okay, and that's about it. Okay, all about Paul. That's what we know. Everybody have a great trade day. See you, chat.